Hey you guys, Valley Vaughn the Perfume Don back at you with a very cool kind of voted on video. I put this in my community tab a few weeks ago. I wanted you guys to vote between Grown Scents, Evening Scents, Teeny Bopper Scents, Evening Scents 1? No, Evening Scents was the runner up. So that video is already live. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Very cool video. Now this one I'm going to do today is devoted to grown woman scents. A lot of you, I saw that you commented, you're like, hey, we want to smell grown, we want to smell elegant, we want to smell womanly. And I think that every scent that I've selected from my personal perfume collection today is going to achieve that for you. The way I made the selections that I went through my collection and I chose, I didn't choose them all because this video would be way too long. And of course, I can always do a part two because there are some that I left out. And if you could think of any additional ones, feel free, drop it below, comment, let me know what's your go-to womanly scent. But I just went through and I chose scents that when I smell them, I think of a grown, mature woman. I'm thinking a woman that has her life together, career, all those kind of things. Just fully a woman, not not the kind of scent that's not yet a girl, not yet a woman in between face. No, this is a fully grown woman, okay? So those are the ones, that's what's going to guide this list today. And again, I'm Valentine on the Perfume Down. If you like fragrance, if you love smelling good, okay? If you wanna draw my Perfume Mafia, go ahead, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload, you can get in here early. I do have giveaways sometimes, so you wanna get in here early. Also like to share this with someone else that really likes fragrance or is looking for a womanly scent. And if you want even more content, hit me up on Instagram. So it's Valley Vonda Perfume down on there. You can communicate with me if you have any questions about fragrance. Let's get into this video, okay? First scent that is a very, 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 very womanly fragrance is going to be, I recently talked about it, is Narcisco. Narcisco, guess what, you guys? I'm gonna be talking about this for at least another month, but my birthday, okay? My birthday just passed, and of course, I was looking up people that I share birthday with. Not just Aquarians, which I already have a special liking to. But people that I share my birthday, <laughs> birthday, birthday with, and it is Narcisco Rodriguez. And I was like, no wonder I love his scent so much. He totally gets me, and he totally gets how a woman wants to smell, okay? Total femininity, womanly. I think a musky scent on a woman is just absolutely divine. This is a musky powdery scent. <sighs> love, love. I love this scent so much. I talk about it all the time. I actually just got it for Christmas. Yes, I, it was gifted for me, gifted to me by my mom. And oh my God, whenever I smell this, I'm just like, this is totally an evening, date night. Not even ha exclusive to evening, but it just makes me think of the seductive woman out with this beautiful guy so please check this out if you mind if you don't mind a little bit of powdery even if you just like powdery i feel like you would like this scent it's very womanly almost smells like a light white floral mixed with a deep musky powdery scent so divine love that one that's narcisco rodriguez my birthday twin or the parfum poudre okay love 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 that guy He's been ruling ever since he took over the fashion world, taking over the fragrance, okay? Next one that I have is very, very, very affordable, and I talk about this one all the time, too. Sue me. So this is Beyonce Heat, not the original, not the original, okay? This one is Heat Wild Orchid. Love this scent. Mm, it's, first of all, I just love orchid. It's such a deep floral scent, but this one just has, like, a fruity sweetness to it fruity sweetness woodiness that i just love it's a beautiful beautiful scent it smells absolutely lovely on um it actually has decent performance you know you can find this 10 bucks to 20 bucks don't pay any more than 20 dollars. great scent love it i pretty much love all the beyonce fragrances besides heat um but yeah check this one out if you're craving something that's a deep floral scent it works great for fall winter check it out beyonce Heat wild orchid. Jeez, it's really hot in here. Why can't we just have winter? Oh my God, it is so hot. Anyways, the next scent that I have is going to be a niche scent. I also talk about this one all the time. If you watch my channel, if you're new to my channel, what's up, gang gang, Perfume Mafia. This is from a niche fragrance brand based out of Brooklyn. Where Brooklyn at? Brooklyn, New York. This is the Elemental Fragrances 
love this scent. You know what's crazy about this scent? Is that it's absolutely soft, delicate, and then like robust, womanly, all in one. It has vanilla, amber, lotus, and wild orchid. I told you I love orchid. Mmm. It smells like, um, yeah, very creamy. Creamy. The vanilla adds the creamy sweetness, but that amber and the orchid in there is what makes it very womanly, okay? So I really want you to check this out. They're priced very affordable. I've already put, one of you coming, I've put a dent in it. I've been trying to slow down because, I mean, it's so easy to wear and it just makes you feel a little bit sexy. So yeah, check that out. The Elemental Fragrances Amoris. I don't think I, Amoris, Amoris. I don't think I mentioned that and it's number six. Their, their fragrances are also numbered, okay? The next one, I don't think this is suitable for a little girl at all. That's why I put this in here. I don't even know if I'm womanly enough to rock this scent. I just had a birthday, you know. We're, we're pushing up in the numbers. But whenever I smell this, I'm just like, dang, this is a grown woman that has it all together. This is Miss Dior of the Parfum. Now, here's the, here's the gag. I don't know. I know it's recently reformulated, and you guys hate. I think this is the one that's recently um, reformulated. Let me know. Comment below. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it's, this is the one before or after the reformulation. But all I know is that this is a heavy floral scent. Heavy, heavy, heavy floral scent. Very sharp, very heavy floral. Heady, heavy, heady and heavy. Oh my God, just gets you in the nose and really tingles. It's totally like if you're walking in a field of flowers, but not fresh flowers, just strong, heavy flowers but it's very beautiful extremely feminine and i think it's a very nice fragrance to combine with other scents as well so there you go miss dior a de parfum from the york course hello next one is going to be from gucci okay i almost left this one out but i was like i was like grabbing all my stuff to come in here and i was like come here because this one I don't know. You may disagree. Let me know. Do you disagree? Gucci Bamboo. Gucci Bamboo. This one is the uh, the Parfum. Yes. This one? Oh, I don't want to spray myself. It's not my scent of the day. Something about it. It's like a, a white musky, but it also smells like very woody, like a light woody, airy aquatic scent to me. Like green, but white musky, but I just would not picture a young girl rocking this scent that's why i put it in there i'm like and you know what i originally I, I saw so many young girls reviewing this fragrance and i was like this is not a young girl's scent to me this is very womanly great for summertime great for springtime i think but very very adult very very adult so let me know i want to know your thoughts on it gucci bamboo it's very popular i know most people have smelled it do you think womanly i think so Next one is going to be from a very affordable scent. So this one, do not be afraid when you see this scent in the discount spots. When you see this scent in a Marshalls, a TJ Maxx, or Ross. That's usually where you find this scent. Don't run. Don't run out of there. I see you. Turn around. Stop running. Stop. Relax. Go back. Pick it up. Give it a try. This is A.V. Adrian Vettadini. This is Midnight Blossom, okay? I put my mom on game. I put my mom on game a few months ago. I was like, yo, check this out. She was she was bougie. She was bad and bougie. I made the mistake of telling her that it was only $6 that was on sale. It's usually around only $10, though. At the most, $12. I told her that it was $6. And she's like, oh, it smells horrible. It smells horrible. Only to go back about a week ago. About a week ago. Find it in store and pick it up. She's like, I found this amazing scent by AV Midnight Blossom. I'm like, girl, I told you about that scent a few months ago. And you had your nose in the air. And now you have your nose on this fragrance. Okay. Very nice fragrance. Don't run. It's very nice. It smells like a dark, fruity, berry, spicy, woody scent. <laughs> It's so hard. Every time I say that word, I just want to put a British twang on it. A little, a little bit cockney. But anyways, 
this is a good scent don't run from it but it is a deeper very womanly has a little bit of spice a little bit woody dark deep berries in this fragrance so check it out if you like how that sounds adrian bettadini midnight blossom okay next one is from guerlain shalama 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 a de toilette okay this is a de toilette very 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 heavy heady you know it it's freaking iconic you know her okay we all know this girl this kind of smells like so i'm not going through like the exact notes because i feel like in these videos unless it's a wear test you really want to know how does this smell because sometimes the notes that are in it don't always indicate how it actually smells now let's give this a spray i have to admit now i only wear this scent when i want to intimidate someone <laughs> which isn't very often mm, this kind of smells like tobacco to me i don't know if it's something how i feel today it smells very woody tobacco floral yikes i don't know if i like what this pushing today but this but this very very grown woman adult okay going out at night 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 do not i don't i would please if you're not supposed to be wearing fragrance to work don't rock this scent because you're going to annoy everyone because it is pronounced it is in your face and it is very distinctive but yeah floral woody tobacco-y let me know. How, does that smell like this to you? The girl on Paris, Shalimar of the Toilette. How does that, how does that one smell to you? Comment below. Okay, let's get back into it. The, the next one that we have is probably something different. So this one is considered fruity. I believe it has like that peach note. However, the muskiness, the amount of musk, musk, not must, <laughs> not musky, muskiness makes it very womanly very womanly so it starts off when you first spray this you get an explosion of like tropical fruity but 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 but, but. when it starts drying down about five ten minutes musky baby very musky very womanly very uh first lady of the church okay first ladies this one's for you perry ellis coral 360 360 okay you know what i, I rock this scent though i like it womanly Perry Ellis coral 360 also you can find that pretty affordable okay pretty affordable okay next one I just picked this one up it may still be at your store because I just went into Ulta yesterday and I saw that they still have some of these Givenchy's half off okay the Dahlia Divine line so this one is Givenchy Paris or the Parfum Dahlia Divine Eau de Parfum Nude, okay? Look at that bottle. Isn't that beautiful? Dang. You know, they actually have directions on how to open this because people like me would just rip that, pow, just rip that thing off. Let me remind myself. Yep. Oh, oh my God. Yes. I kind of want this to be my scent of the day fruity a little bit sweet but musky mm, probably has like a base of light woodiness but you don't get a lot of that at all yes 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 i really like this one the most and i like the nectar one so dahlia divine of the parfum nude very womanly but you know you could be a young woman womanly rocking this scent it's very nice it's not a little girl scent at all i feel like I feel like this entire line, the Dahlia Divine, very womanly, very um, feminine, very sophisticated, very elegant, and very refined, okay? And that's the same for this fragrance as well. So this is from Donna Karen. This is Cashmere Mist. The original Cashmere as well, but this one is the Cashmere Mist Essence, okay? I only have just a small vaporizer because I know this is not going to be one that... I really reach for that often. I got this one at a great deal. This is only $6 for this one. Love that it's not a rollerball. This is a pretty decent size um, travel spray as well. This one is a 0 0.24 fluid ounce. So you can really get a lot of sprays out of this. But yeah. Musky, woody. 
light smells like fruity sweetness to it but mostly musky woody mm, love this one it's supposed to be i think just an intensified version of the original cashmere mist um but yeah this is the other parfum very nice very womanly very great for i think like spring it's great to wear if you're going to outdoors events and you want a fragrance that's going to perform well outdoors and not really turn check this one out i really like it donna karen cashmere mist and i love i love 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 their actual deodorant so check that one out they have a deodorant cashmere mist smells amazing smells amazing it's about 27 dollars I have not been able to bring myself to pay $27 for a fragrance, um, a fragrance deodorant yet. I was about to say a fragrance armpit. I don't think I'd buy that either. Um, but a fragrance deodorant, I think that's a little bit steep, but geez, it really smells amazing. Now that one smells a little bit more like musky powdery, okay? But yeah, this one, ooh, love that one. A little bit sweet, musky, woody. The next one we have, Some people would describe this as very mature, and I understand why. Woo! Woo! You know her. You know her. Cavatine de Gras. Okay? Cavatine de Gras. Very heavy sheep scent. Floral, sharp, sparkly, green. Some people will say fresh. Okay. When I am when I want to smell fresh, I'm not reaching for this. But I have to be in a precise mood. A precise, eclectic, securing myself, strong, womanly mood when I want to rock this scent. But it has a lot of fan favorites. It's been around for a very long time. Simplistic packaging, distinctive scent. There it is. Now that's my list of grown woman scents. Grown woman scents. Now, not to be confused with extremely sexy scents because that's gonna be another video. But again, if you like this video, go ahead and let me know. Comment below, like, share this with someone else that really likes fragrance. Hit me up on Instagram, Ballyvana Perfect Don. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.